In this video, we're going to be making our own key ring based on this design I drew in the previous video. So we're going to start off by making the square. So let's go back to Onshape and we're going to create a new document. We're going to name it Smile Keyring. And then I'm going to start off by starting a sketch on the front surface. I'm going to look at that surface to make it easier to work on. I'm now going to go to my center point rectangle. Start on the origin, drag out, and we know, if I go back to my drawing, this is square, and I know I want to keep it square. So I'm going to take and set these equal. Now, these tools might be spread out over here. It depends on your screen resolution. On this computer, they get put onto a menu. But I'm going to say equals. I'm going to pick the top and the side. Now, this will always be square no matter what. I'm now going to take and dimension this top to 1.5 as indicated here. So this is all black, that means it's fully constrained. That means I'm ready to move forward. I'm gonna go to an isometric view by clicking on the corner and I'm gonna extrude it 0.1 inches, 0.125, to I believe. Let's go look at the sketch, yep, uh, half a block. So I'm gonna hit check to finish that. And now we're gonna start our next sketch on the front and do the circle. So just like before, I start a sketch. I'm going to click on the front. I can now go to my circle tool, draw a center point circle, grab the origin, drag out. And let's dimension that. Let's go look. That is a one inch diameter circle. And I just, my mouse just hit something. So I can go, whoop. There we go. I'm going to now Take and dimension that to one. That looks good. It's all black. It's happy. I'm going to hit the checkbox. Go to isometric view. You can set checkbox or not. Any checkbox is nice or finish the feature. I'm going to extrude this to 0.125. checkbox and now I have the basic shape for my key ring. Now before I do anything else I am going to rename my uh, studio to be smile key ring and I'm just going to rename the part smile. Naming your parts and studios um, makes your um, makes it much easier to keep track of what you're doing especially when you have multiple part assemblies and stuff like that. So it's a good habit to be in. So the next video, we'll start adding the face to the smile hearing.